Good day, everyone, and welcome back to TMAC FPV, your home for your journey to better FPV, fun flights and racing stuff. This is the second video in our series, How to Fly an FPV Race Drone, Simulator to Reality, and today we're going to be practicing altitude control and coordinated power turns. To do this, we'll be using the Velocidrone Simulator and implement the Velocidrone Flight Training Series, which I'll provide a link to in the video description below. In the simulator, we'll perform three track runs at different camera angles, and then we'll take it outside to our backyard FPV racetrack, which is set up in a similar manner to that shown in the simulator. I understand the quality of the video capture of the simulations is not the best. Please just keep in mind it's not the quality of the video simulation that we're after. It's the techniques used to maintain the desired altitude and perform coordinated power turns. I encourage you to watch the stick displays at the bottom of the screen. I'll always be using mode 2, which means the throttle and yaw controls will be with the left stick. Pay particular attention to the continuous small adjustments I'm making with the throttle in order to maintain the correct altitude. This is because anytime you're doing a coordinated turn with a quad, your altitude is going to change due to the direction of the motor's thrust. So to maintain a constant altitude, you're going to have to continuously make throttle adjustments. The best way for you to get a clear picture of this is to slow the video of the simulations down using the speed control and the gear icon at the bottom right under the video next to the letters CC. Put it at half or quarter speed and watch the throttle adjustments which are necessary for altitude control. Also, look for how the throttle is used going into a coordinated turn, where the throttle is decreased at what is called the turn in or the turn entry, and then slowly increased from the apex of the turn to the track out or the turn exit. These are the techniques which we will be practicing today. This is one way we journey to better. The reason we show three track runs with three different camera angles is because the angle of your FPV camera on the quad is going to determine how fast you'll be flying with a horizon level to the ground. The higher the camera angle, the faster you're going to be flying. Also, what has become apparent to me is, the higher the camera angle, the easier it is to maintain a certain altitude. The lower the camera angle, the more height sensitive the quad is to your throttle control. This is because with a lower camera angle, your quad is actually more level to the ground and the thrust of the motors is more level to the ground, which results in more height gained when you increase the throttle than you would have with a higher camera angle and the quad angled more relative to the ground. The first sim run is with a camera angle of 25 degrees. Watch how slowly I'm flying and how difficult it is for me to maintain a specific altitude. The second run is with a camera angle of 35 degrees and the third run is with a camera angle of 45 degrees. Notice on these runs how my speed increases and my altitude control gets better with a higher camera angle. The camera angle of the quad I'll be flying on our backyard FPV track is approximately 30 degrees. It's time to fly.
Well, that's going to do it for this video. We hope you got something out of it. If you did, click on the thumbs up button below. Share the video with your family and friends, and we hope you'll consider subscribing to your channel. Make it your home for your journey to better FPV fun, flights, and racing stuff. We'll see you next video. Happy flying.